Peter Chang here and welcome to step 7 of our MI5 RC car build and in step 7 we're going to go ahead and tackle assembling the top deck and what's interesting about the top deck is that it includes two plastic parts that comprise of the top deck molding and you might be thinking that the top deck should be stiffer or, or uh, have less flex and if you want such a such a characteristic in your MI5 car, you could actually purchase the aluminum alloy hop-up parts for this as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just stick with building out my MI5 car stock for now. Um, kind of interested about the aluminum moldings, but uh, for now, I'm just going to go ahead and stick with the stock setup, run it a few times, and and uh, see how I like it and then decide what things I would like to change later. So essentially I'm just going to go ahead and put in the top deck in the front and then I'm going to go ahead and just kind of make sure I got the fitment correct and that looks good. I'm just going to go ahead and screw that in and just so you know and you're aware that the front and rear decks actually have the same same molding same parts so uh, some other touring cars for example the front and rear parts of the car are totally different uh, not the case with this one so it's kind of it's kind of cool it's almost uh, symmetrical so here we are we're just going to go ahead and slide this one in there we go and let's just go ahead and wrench that in and that is nice and tight that is looking great next we're going to go ahead and tackle the top decks itself so here we are we have the carbon fiber top deck so I'm going to go ahead and tackle the the left side first here so I'm going to go ahead and wrench that in there's actually a middle piece in here too um, just so you're also aware in this step we also uh, place in the the belt as well uh, we don't attach the belt necessarily to anything it's just everything's just kind of preliminary at this point but it's just nice to to have the uh, belt set up too here we are so still have screws left and I'm just going to go ahead and thread in the the uh, belt in there and it's important to note that the uh, top belt isn't necessarily attached to anything. So the belt is not uh, attached to anything in this stage just yet. We're just putting the belt in here because uh, once we put in the, the top deck in there, and this time I'm, I'm, I'm assembling the right hand side, uh, once it's all in there, the, uh, the belt needs to be removed or you have to remove a component or piece to add in the top deck and in this case I don't want to so uh, follow the instructions and you don't have to so in a sense uh, we're just putting in the belt in just for fitment purposes at this point and it's a good strategy because once you once you kind of planned ahead uh, you don't have to undo or unwrench anything that doesn't work out Thanks for watching, and remember everything matters, and stay tuned for Step 8. Thanks.